Welcome back to Pulse TV Live. I am Missy Molu and it is time for a Pulse exclusive interview and we have right here with us today, the Ebisan. Welcome to the show. Thank you very All much. All right. Okay. So now Ebisan is a singer songwriter and uh, she has just started delving into the world of acting. So let's talk about that and let's talk about okay. what you're doing and what it's like. You know, this okay. is your first foray into the acting world, yes? Well, I would say I've done a little bit of theatre mm -hmm. growing up. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, my music videos needed a little bit of acting. In of fact, course. some crazy roles that I gave myself on purpose, of course, to showcase my acting ability. So, um, yeah, TV. The TV show right now is called Before 30. Uh -huh. I don't know if you've heard about it, but yeah. um, it's going to be big. Fingers crossed. And um, it's basically about four girls, yeah, looking for love and trying to figure out how to wade through the pressures of trying to get married before 30. You know how it is in Lagos. Everybody wants you to get married before 30. Or just in Nigeria in general, basically. Uh, you know, and we've been tweeting about it. It's quite interesting, and people are like, "Oh, get married before thirty, and then get divorced before 40. <laughs> you know, don't rush, blah blah blah. Yeah. So, I had a little role, um, and I was quite excited about that because I got to play a crazy person. So look out, mm -hmm. everybody! Um, and then obviously, I did the theme song, the trailer theme song that's okay. um, time of our lives it's mm -hmm. a single that i brought out last year yes and um they loved it so much that they wanted to attach it to this movie to yeah, the series, to the series. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh yeah it's been good all right that's good so what was the experience like i know you have your experience in theater this is a series what was the experience like for you um i go i don't know i get out of myself once the camera is on i'm just like okay Tell me what role, tell me my lines, I'm good. I just become someone else and it's quite exhilarating to be someone else. Okay. For, even if it's just for a few hours um, or days, however long. Um, it's something that I've always wanted to do, so I really, really enjoyed it. Okay. Mm. So now being that, you know, they used your song, mm -hmm. what's the name of your song? Time of Our Lives. Time of Our Lives. They use your song as literally the trailer song yeah. for the series yeah. and it's and, in the episode as well. and it's in the episode and it's attached to the series basically mm -hmm. how did that come about was just one of your singles um, okay. and then how did everything come together basically well in the past I've worked with them um, other shows um, and and a movie called tango with me starring mm -hmm. Genevieve and um, Joseph Benjamin so I think the director knew that I was into soundtracks working with you know TV shows and stuff so they heard that song mm -hmm. they totally loved it they had heard Joa before and a couple of my other stuff and apparently they were fans okay so um, it just made sense to get in touch with me and ask if they could use my music mm -hmm. um, the other thing is that time of our lives funny enough has been used in the past um, just last year by um, a TV show, this is a talk show called Walk the Talk. Okay. And um, this was about empowering, you know, women, young women to be the best that they can be mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. And it was just a fun, tongue in cheek, also type show yep. with Chi Girl and all that. So mm -hmm. they just thought Time of Our Lives was a perfect song for the show as well. Okay. So um, I guess the moral of the story is do your best and you just never know. What, what opportunities might, uh, will come up? Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. So, um, okay, you know, you delved into the world of acting. You're a singer songwriter. How do you believe? Because social media week is going on right now. How do you believe social media impacts your world? Okay. Well, I find it. Um, it's actually an advantage mm -hmm. to me. I mean, with everything, it's it really depends on how you use it. Okay right mm -hmm. you can use it for good you can use it for bad i find that social media is actually a bonus for me mm -hmm. it's a way to get my music you know right across the world um i find that people who follow me people yeah. who tweet back at me aren't just nigerians okay um i get to share what i love what i am passionate about of course 
with the world uh -huh. so to me that's a bonus I am a very positive person I am a very bubbly person I find that I have chosen to be one of the people who spreads you know positivity to yeah. the world okay. through my um, through Twitter your social media yeah, platform, platform basically yeah. okay so you find that it's a good thing do you find that there are any cons to it there are um, pros and there are cons with everything but do you think um, there are any cons to it have you found any cons to it so far so far I don't know I guess I'm you do get some people stalking you a okay. little bit. All right. But um but I find that still a form of flattery, so it's okay. <laughs> it's as okay. long as, as long it doesn't go too far. On my door, yes. You know, like find out her address okay. and all that. But um yeah, I find even even what people call criticism to me can only be constructive. I just see that as like a feedback type hub. Okay. Where I can figure out what people think, mm -hmm. why they think this way, mm -hmm. um, and what I can do about it if it is constructive criticism. Yeah. So um, I, I, I really can't complain. Okay, you can't complain. Everything's all good, basically, mm -hmm. right? Okay, now um, they're just showing. We're showing clips of your video um, with you and Chi. What was the experience like shooting the video? Um, I I loved it. Mm -hmm. Loved it, loved it, loved it. It was a major challenge for me because I literally was the production manager. Okay. I had to run around. And, um, you know, we did this in Lagos Island and in Butte Meta. And there were so many things involved, trying uh -huh. to get people, um, the police involved to protect us. You uh -huh. have area boys who are there who want their cut. Uh -huh. You have, obviously, the running around, getting food to the, the cast and crew. Everything, I pretty much had um, a say. In everything. And I had to do organized stuff with the director okay. and of course the concept was mine as well of the storyline yeah. and everything uh -huh. yeah so um it was fun it really was fun um it, it had been raining all week i remember and i was just like god please tomorrow is this i've done everything i can mm -hmm. to make this work mm -hmm. all you need to do is just hold that rain hold it yeah. so in the morning we were getting dressed and i was getting ready and all that and it started drizzling and i was like god remember mm -hmm. remember my power <laughs> packed yeah. i've done you know so um the moment the cameras came on because most of our shots were outside oh lord the, the rain just the, the clouds clear and it didn't I'm, I'm i kid you not it didn't i didn't it didn't start again till the end right as we were packing up mm -hmm. it just started raining oh wow it happened like two days on the two days of the shoot so i know someone up there really loves me oh that's wonderful <laughs> yeah. good stuff okay so social media is a good impact on your career and yeah. the way of communicating with your fans and getting your music out there mm -hmm. And you started with the acting. I know you said you had some, you know, um, experience with theater and everything. Yeah. Do you think it's something that you want to continue doing? Definitely. More movies Definitely. or series? Look, acting in general. Mm -hmm. Give me a theater role, fine, I'll do that. Give me a TV series role, I'll do that. Um, give me a movie role, whatever. Um, I'm even going to, like, workshops right now. Okay. You know acting classes and stuff uh -huh. so um i'm taking it seriously you're taking it very seriously yeah. so we're definitely going to be seeing a lot more of you right um do we expect an album to be coming out anytime soon yes but not soon too not too soon <laughs> but i am working year? on it i am working on it if it's not at the end of this year mm -hmm. it will be at the beginning of next year okay, okay. <laughs> and um yeah, there will be singles coming out, some featuring me, and there will be one that will be my song. Okay. You know? yeah. This is between now and the, the end of the year. year. Yeah. Okay. So um, when you say some featuring, you mean some so featuring other just other you? other artists featuring uh -huh. me. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. And then there will be one which is just mine. you. Will be mine. Yeah. All right. Lovely. That's great. So that's something definitely for us to look forward to yes obviously these acting skills this is what you were talking about when you say you have to use some acting skills in order to actually interpret yeah. your videos and everything yeah. right yeah. okay good so when is before 30 going to hit our screens march 16 okay and so it's going to be on about seven channels mm -hmm. um 
Ebony Life, African Magic, Sound City, I believe, um, Cool TV, mm -hmm. and OTV abroad. That's okay. on Sky okay. in England. So, um, you know, watch this it's space. Gonna it's going to be big. Place, it's going to be big because it's good. Okay. I mean, if I do say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. All right, Evison, thank you so much. Thank you. For gracing us with your presence here. Thank it was lovely you. speaking to you. And we hope that when you're about to release your next single, mm -hmm. that you actually come into the studio and no just problem. share it with us no and let our audience actually take maybe the first listen. Let's hope so. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, this is Pulse TV Live. And of course, this was a Pulse exclusive interview with Ebison, who is uh, playing in a role on Before 30 and, of course, is a singer songwriter as well. So just keep it locked on to Pulse TV Live and make sure to look out for her on March the 16th when this series hits the air. I am Missy Molu. We shall be back in just a few.